guys, this video is going to be a big one because we're talking about how to write an actual text response. Today, I'm going to take you through planning, introductions, body paragraphs, teal structure, conclusion, give you examples as we go through using the text Macbeth. So if you are not studying Macbeth, don't stress because this is really just to give you a general example and with the knowledge that you can take away from this video, you should be able to apply that to your own text, right? Text response is something that we do all the way from year seven through to year 12. So let's just get through this. And at the end of it, I hope that everything makes sense to you guys. And if it doesn't, put your questions down in the comment section below and I'll either answer them in a comment or maybe even do a video on them if I think it's you know important enough for us to go into detail. So yeah, let's get into it. So the essay topic we're using today is Macbeth deserves his downfall, discuss. To start off with, I always write a plan and a plan is incredibly essential because it just sets everything in motion ahead of time. It ensures that you stay on track and that you won't go off topic later on. So I actually did a video on this, which I'll link up above for you guys. Go ahead and watch that if you want more details on how to actually write a plan. And in that video, I go through with you how I would physically write out a plan myself. So I think it was actually really helpful for a lot of students and teachers showed it in schools. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. So firstly, I look at keywords. And for me, the keywords are Macbeth, deserves, down for and of course you can chuck in discuss too if you want i know that this is pretty much the entire prompt itself but you know the shorter the prompt the more crucial each keyword becomes contention so a contention is the overall argument about the topic your contention should be drawn from your own opinion so ask yourself what do i think about the prompt do i agree do i disagree am i on the fence are there any other important considerations I think need to be discussed? Your contention then becomes the point you're trying to prove throughout your entire essay. For example, if a prompt is Macbeth deserves his downfall, discuss, your contention should be, could be, while fate and other characters contribute to Macbeth's demise, he's ultimately responsible and therefore deserving of his self-inflicted downfall. Then you move into arguments. Your arguments support your overall contention and are points to prove your contention. Each essay usually has around three to five main arguments, which become your body paragraphs. For example, you could have argument one, the witch's prophecy and Lady Macbeth's taunts set in motion Macbeth's tragic fate. Argument two, however, it is Macbeth's vaulting ambition that is the ultimate driver for his downfall. Argument three, through Macbeth's consequent guilty conscience, Shakespeare demonstrates how Macbeth does deserve his fate. Each one of these arguments then become the body paragraphs, which I'll talk about very shortly. And then we move into writing. So we all know the structure of an essay, introduction, body paragraphs, and conclusion. Let's go into each one of these in detail. Introduction. Introductions are straightforward. Try not to overcomplicate them. It's important to get to the point and move fast into your body paragraphs where you really show off your ideas. As a general skeleton, an introduction needs to have one, an overall introduction in response to the essay topic, and two, outline your three main arguments which will represent your three body paragraphs or more arguments if you choose to have more. Here's a really simple to the point introduction. I've kept it simple because I want you to see how I bring the plan together and how the arguments are laid out from when we planned it. Feel free to execute according to your own volition. Set in the Elizabethan era, Shakespeare's Macbeth explores the glory and downfall of one man, Macbeth. While the fate and other characters while fate and other characters contribute to Macbeth's demise, he's ultimately responsible and therefore deserving of his self-inflicted downfall. The witch's prophecy and Lady Macbeth's manipulation sets in motion Macbeth's tragic fate. Ultimately, it is Macbeth's vaulting ambition that is the key driver for his downfall, and it is his guilty conscience which demonstrates that he is deserving of this fate. So I know this introduction is slightly clunky just because I've literally pulled 
pieces of the plant together into one so you can really see how the skeleton works but you can modify the introduction as you see fit and paraphrase the arguments so that it flows a little bit nicer. Moving into the body paragraphs. Firstly, let's make sure we're on the same page with teal. T, topic sentence. E, explanation. E, example and evidence. L, linking sentence. Sometimes the E's are interchangeable. Some people say example instead of explanation. Don't get bogged down with that. Different teachers will teach till differently, but let's just go with the one I mentioned above, and you can modify these according to whatever till works best for you. Now let's move into each letter of the acronym. T, topic sentence. You have to have a clear argument that can be said in one sentence. This argument should cover your entire paragraph. Points to remember. Ensure your topic sentence clearly indicates that you will discuss what you'll discuss in your paragraph. Check to make sure that your topic sentence has an idea that stems from contention and avoid character-based topic sentences and focus instead on themes which these characters are utilized to explore. Next is your explanation. Go into an example, for example, an event or character who portrays or showcases your argument. E, provide evidence to support your point, for example, quotes or meta-language. And lastly, L. Offer a one sentence summary of your paragraph. You're now linking everything together and finishing it up nicely before moving on to the next body paragraph. So here's an example for you. I've used my third argument, so third body paragraph as an example. Through Macbeth's consequent guilty conscience, Shakespeare demonstrates how Macbeth does deserve his fate. Macbeth begins to fear that his soul has been permanently corrupted by the evil deeds he has perpetrated. He's literally shaken to the core by the idea that he has indeed committed a crime from which there is no repentance or forgiveness and which can never be expunged from his mind. As he realizes the implications of his actions, he laments that all great Neptune's ocean cannot wash this blood clean, but rather it is the blood on Macbeth's hands that will that will multiduna multiduna blah 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 multi blah blah the multitudinous seas in Carnadine, making the one green red. <sighs> this highlights how Macbeth has come to the realization that he can never undo what he has done, but instead will color the way in which he sees the world forever. Here, his conscience is a critical factor in his thinking. A man without conscience could walk away from his crime without a second thought, but the knowledge of his crime seems likely to pay in his mind forever. It is this revelation which concedes Macbeth as deserving of his fate, because even he is aware of it himself. Conclusion I'd recommend that you keep your conclusions as concise as possible. Conclusions are great opportunities to summarize your essay, and you avoid introducing new ideas. In other words, summarize your main arguments, i.e. your topic sentences. Conclusions should really be no more than a few sentences. Here's an example. Macbeth is truly a story of a tragic hero. Initially depicted as loyal and noble, the chance meeting with the three witches propels Macbeth onto a new sinister pathway. Lady Macbeth also contributes to his downfall, as her emotional abuse upon his masculinity sets in motion the killing of King Duncan. Nevertheless, it is Macbeth's own ambition, his own actions upon the witches and Lady Macbeth's words which demonstrate that he is deserving of his own demise. So I hope by finally releasing this video and teaching you how to write a text response, you feel more confident going into your actual writing. If you're somebody who does struggle and you really feel like one, you're not sure how to break down prompts, you get stuck, you don't really have an idea, or you don't know how to plan properly and you just need more examples on essays to help you actually really understand how to write an essay, then I'd recommend you my book. Shameless little self-promotion. It's only $9.95, which is two coffees, uh, less than a Nando's meal, and nowadays, sometimes less than a McDonald's meal too. So yeah, I mean, in here, there's heaps of examples for you, and I really grow into 
I put my heart and soul into this book. This is literally everything I know about text response into the one book. So go ahead and check it out. There's a 30 day money back guarantee as well. So if you don't like it, then it's no problems. You can just ask for a refund. But just putting it out there, we've had really great reviews so far. It's five stars across the board on my website, I believe, and on Facebook and Google. So yeah, if you're a student and have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you're a teacher and there's anything else you'd like me to talk about, then please let me know and get in touch. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.